the Powerball lottery has reached $2 billion. That's even bigger than the Gordo, the fat one in Spain. Here are the states and territories participating. Left out are Alabama, Utah, Nevada. You probably figure out why. And also Alaska and Hawaii. Here's a payout grid. And as we'll see the actions with the jackpot. But we should look at all of these in order to compute a break-even expected value. Normally I say I shouldn't play, but if the expected value is positive, well, let's look at that case. Turns out, if the jackpot is around a half billion dollars, it's just about break-even. Here's a graphic of those other amounts with, uh, if you'll note, that the uh, larger rare ones and the smaller, less frequent ones is where the action is. Well, the expected value here for a $2 ticket, well, again, that's with the $500 million is about break-even. But you know what? People don't evaluate that, or shouldn't. They should evaluate the happiness it brings. Uh, let's say $100 million gives you eight smiles. Why? Let's say it has eight zeros. A uh, million dollars gives you six zeros. But in a pool, you could say with 100 people, do the same set of outcomes. You could have 10 chances of 10 million, give you 70 smiles. Now, if you do do that pool, you got to put it in writing, have somebody, you know, co-sign it, have the person collecting, maybe not even play at all, do what ifs, you know, who, what, what if they didn't play, etc. By the way, let's look out to the question, cash or annuity across the remaining 29 years. Some states allow you to cash out of the annuity. Here is the uh, rules for a single Californian and uh, California does not tax the lottery and it turns out maybe seven eight percent is about a difference in terms of the choice between a cash out versus an annuity. Now there's some caveats. Oprah did a great show about how it brings about half the winner's happiness and the other half the winner's tragedy, unbearable tragedy, losing their friends. They weren't able to, you know, be able to handle. Well, the other concern is maybe you don't play the lottery at all. As demonstrated in other videos, what if you instead took that money? Let's make it five tickets a day, you know, across 40 years, you know what, if you did that, you would have $1 million at the end of 40 years versus losing about 14, 15,000.